Right, hi guys. Uh, today in this video we're going to make a chain insert curve tube brush. You know what I mean? Insert brush. Alright, so to start off with we'll come over to our ring 3D option in the uh, tool mesh section. And come down to initialize, put your divides at 8. And that's this way around the ring. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, etc. Divides by 18. This is this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. So those sections. Just for those people that are new to ZBrush and don't know how it all works. Right, so then we'll come up to make polymesh 3D. Now we can actually sculpt and uh, modify the topology. So first thing we want to do is we want to turn this into a chain link. So we're going to hold control and mask down halfway into the middle link, this middle link here, and then we'll just shrink it down a bit, go to the move, get our gizmo and just pull it down. That way, because we went to the middle, it leaves eight uh, sections at the top and eight sections at the bottom. All right, want to come and uh, unclear the mask, go to my unmarsh mesh center and now we want to go to our z model brush which is b z m for z modeler i've got mine down here obviously right so we want to hold space bar and go insert not single edge loop and i'll show you why because if you just tap it there and then tap it there you might not get them even so to get them even or you can actually slide on the, just the normal insert. To get them even, you want multiple edge loops. And that will, when you tap it, put it dead in the center. Tap it, put it dead in the center. We want to do that to here and just divide it up a bit. Right. Control W, make that one whole polygroup. There's our first link. Now we can either make a basic chain like that. Or we can do some modifications to the link. So what we'll do is we'll just duplicate that link now. And uh, just use the first one. Sorry, I'm getting a bit of a cold. So I apologize for any sniffing. Right, so we're going to hold uh, control and duplicate our link. Drag it up to about so. Hold shift which will turn it in increments to 90 degrees. Gotta go five more degrees, there we go. Right, so that's gonna be our middle link. And we'll just drag that up a bit more to about there. You wanna have a little bit of a gap so they're not touching. Right, so what we'll do now is clear the uh, masking. Group visible, make sure they are one poly group again. And now, we're going to uh, add some little start and end links. So to do that, we'll go insert and we'll go or oh, just a ring 3D. That inserted a ring. So now what we want to do is go back to our first one and go merge down, which is under merge, merge down. I normally use a hotkey for that, but anyway. Right, and then we shall stay in draw mode, tap that one, mask it, that'll isolate it, holding control and shift, hold control and shift, tap to bring them all back, hold control and, sorry, tap to invert the mask, go to move, and we'll just move that link up into position, which is uh, about there. Right, and then um, we'll hold control and duplicate it and bring it down to the bottom. We'll spin it 90 degrees. Make sure it's positioned nicely, about so. So you want to have one vertical and then a horizontal vertical and a horizontal. So as long as these two are different, they'll link together. These ones won't because they're the end ones. So you want basically the middle ones horizontal and vertical so the next one obviously is horizontal to link into here because these links in the middle are going to be in the middle of the span and these are just going to be on the end one on one end one on the other end right so 
control mask clear your mask now when creating your insert mesh brush you go get your floor out go to z forward which is this way oops this way sorry so blue line z forward what we want to do is go to unmarsh mesh center that'll put it in the center now what i normally do is uh i'll show you here i normally use my um custom list and go to position so zero position so normally if you want to do that you come to geometry down to position and then zero zero and zero depending on what you want so what we want to do is spin all of this up 90 degrees there we go so now it's standing straight up so the camera is going to look at it straight ahead and pull it out in a curve so when you drag your curve from left to right it's going to drag out in that format so we'll um, go create insert mesh we'll go new that's created our brush up here but we want it as a curve so if we just drag it out here it's just going to drag one out so we want to go to stroke curve so curve curve mode and the red circle around your um brush icon you want to hold spacebar increase your size let go spacebar and then draw draw out a curve and there you have it there's your start link your chain in the middle no that didn't go right either why did that happen ah i know why i forgot the major rule didn't i all right so there's a mistake you should learn by what did we forget to do polygroup it so that's a polygroup and that's a polygroup and they should be the same polygroup so that's no good so we want to auto group that bring that back the middle one needs to be the same polygroup and these ones need to be different so it works the uh, create insert mesh brush works off of three polygroups so you want one two three different polygroups so what we'll do is we'll go delete mesh create insert mesh new come back up to stroke because that would have been turned off curve mode and now when we drag it out we have a start link all of our middle links and our end link so that was one major little boo-boo i made was not polygrouping them so that's all you do and if you want to make uh, variations of the chain what we do is oh, go back to there come back up to here go to this ring and what we'll do is we'll start again we'll modify this ring by uh, let's do a bit of a move brush we'll go to our settings and we'll go to twist but I think if we twist this one let's say around 40 degrees 42 try and get it dead on 40 40.5 that'll do and this top one bring that into 40 40 42 doesn't matter bit of a twist right so we've got a twisty link but there's too much of a gap here so what we're going to do is go to our settings and we're going to go to deformer soft and we'll just hold control get rid of the top marks get rid of the bottom marks then we'll just go to our scale and we'll scale inwards and that'll give us a bit more of a decent looking link go to settings go to accept if you hit d that'll give us our dynamic preview and now we have a chain link hold shift d to unpreview the dynamic mode and then hold control drag one up this one we don't have to spin because it's going to drag into place because of the twist so what we'll do is that and then we'll hold control again and drag again and now we've got three links so this one we won't make any start and end links we'll just leave them how they are unmask auto groups gives us three separate polygroups straight away 
come back and hit draw mode because if you stay in move mode and then go create insert mesh, it's going to yell at you and tell you that the uh, transpose tool is not a mesh. So you hit escape to get rid of the uh, pop-up box, come back to hit draw, create insert mesh, append because we want to append it to the brush we're already making. And now we have it made and stroke curve should still be activated because we've appended it to the brush. And from there, we should be able to drag out another chain. So this one's good for like a necklace or stuff like that. So that's basically all you do. And you just uh, uh, make sure you duplicate your first ring off as many times as there many you want to make. And um, or you can make alterations to the ones you've already made. Don't forget to put different poly groups in them, three separate poly groups, and uh, create insert mesh, append, and away you go. All right, thank you very much. I um, hope you enjoyed watching this video, and please like and subscribe to my channel so I can make more ZBrush videos and help out the community. Thank you. Bye.